Hey guys, welcome back to the World's Worst Fishing. I'm Chris Jones and super exciting video today. We're doing something that we've never done. We are gonna have our first in-person, live in the fish cave collaboration video with another YouTuber. So, you guessed it, we're gonna be teaching this person how to make baits. That's what we do on this channel. Today's no different, except we have in the flesh, Fishing with Norm. So Fishing with Norm, he's one of the top fishing YouTubers. I mean, his channel's absolutely huge. He's growing like crazy. Um, lucky for me, he wanted to, to get together and collaborate. He's actually local to Tallahassee. Um, you've probably seen a lot of his content before. He's, uh, he's always jumping around collaborating with, with a lot of big names, a lot of big YouTubers, which of course he's huge himself. He is a big YouTuber. And uh, so it's my very good honor to be hosting him in the fish cave today to kind of be showing him what we do here on the World's Worst Fishing and it's sort of uh, what, what my audience is used to and showing him the ropes a little bit. We're gonna do a ton of collaboration videos. This is just video number one. We're, kinda, we're gonna kind of start with the basics today, but um, I'm excited to have him. And um, without further ado, let's introduce you to Mr. Norm himself. Okay, everybody, <laughs> this is Fishing with Norm. Um, if you haven't checked him out, definitely head over to his channel and hit the subscribe. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so he is a complete noob at this, but he's about yeah. <laughs> to get absolutely into this stuff big time. Today is his training day. Are you excited? I'm excited. I didn't even know I lived 10 minutes away from you until thank you, Larry, for getting us in touch with yeah, each other. Yeah, Larry Melton <laughs> Jr., who, who we'll be having on the channel soon as well, uh, kind of got us together. Yeah. We've, we've both lived in Tallahassee and on YouTube for years and just never connected. So. Somehow. Um, yeah, we, we, we have the seven foot giant in the shop today, and uh, he's about to make his very first stick worms. I'm and, excited. Yeah, well, you, you should be excited. So here's here's what we have. We have just, uh, you know, you guys on my channel have seen a lot of this before. We're just going to get him running some basic stick worms in one of my favorite colors, June Bug. So we have our dead on plastics here. This is the Black Bucket Worm Blend. Perfect for a stick worm. We're going to fire that up in the microwave, and uh, we're going to get him started. All right, guys, so we just got the plastic cooked up. Um, we, we've been filming some stuff on, on Norm's camera, but um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get him to use some of this uh, Lure Works black grape, and uh, he's going he's gonna to mix that in. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to, to see his level of excitement when he does this for his first time. So anyway, these are the uh, Bass Tackle 5-inch uh, BT stick molds, and um, yeah, we're ready to roll. Okay, everybody, so Norm just mixed up his first ever color, and uh, like, like I was saying earlier, we did some nice June bug for him. So uh, we, we did just a bunch of Lure Works black grape, and then some um, .035 and 1.5 size green emerald flake. And uh, what we did is we took a little salt. I know y'all know that I don't like salt on this channel, but you gotta have it in a stick worm. So uh, we're, about to, we're about to set up the camera over here, and uh, we're going to show you make him making his first bait ever, something new to my channel as well. Um, you know, I did a video a long time ago when my wife was pregnant with Landon. She made her first baits on camera, but um, we're doing it again, so here we go. All right, guys, moment of truth. So we have our plastic ready. It's, it's nice and hot, okay? You definitely need to inject it while it's hot. It doesn't need to be 350 degrees like it does when it cooks, but the time has come, so... Oh geez, what do I do with this thing? <laughs> that, that's your injector. Okay. So, shove the nozzle down to the bottom of the cup. All right. Now take your hand and draw up with that one. You're gonna have to pull really hard, but pull it. Yep, pull it up. All the way, all right. Now, put that nozzle in that hole, right there. All right. Now, now all right, oh, now, now, yep, now push down on the handle. Push down, yep, yep, you, you gotta put some elbow into it. And How much will, should we go down? All right, you, all right, did you feel it stop? Yeah, I felt it stop. All right, now go to the next one. Yep, the next hole, push it down. All right, and the next one. That injector may not fill all of them, so now what we're gonna do is squirt some more plastic back into that hole, top, top it off. You Actually, here, don't do, do it from above. Like, oh, like yeah, this? Yep, okay. yep, just fill it, fill it back up, move to the next one. You gotta, you gotta top off the, the tops of those. Yeah, I mean, you, like yeah, you you can see here. Push it and see if there's enough plastic. I don't think we had enough, but anyway, yep, you're done. 
That was it. You just made your first ever worms. So sweet. Yeah. And um, now what we do is we, we basically see how this is how quickly the plastic sets up. I can, oh wow! Yeah, yeah it's I can, already. I can yeah. al I can already take this off of, of that injector and then remelt it. And so you kind of keep recycling your materials until you run out. All right, moment of truth. Open that mold up and let's see how you did. These, are, right. your, these are your first ever baits, buddy. How do I open up? Do I just pull? Just pull, pull it apart. Actually, I like to, uh, you can kind of take your finger and oh, okay, okay. And just kind of, yep. So here we go. Yep, just open it Moment up. Moment of truth. Moment first of truth. ever. Open it up. Oh! It, it, it should just open right up. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, hold on. Here, you just pull it from the top. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, there we go. go. There we go. Look at that. Dude, that is awesome. Look at that. Here, let's let's get a let's get a close up. Of course, here, go for it. Those are Norm's first baits. All right, those are Norm's first baits, everybody. Some lovely, lovely June bug stick worms, and uh, that, my friend, is a defining moment in your life. That's yeah, you're gonna need to save those, give them to your children in the future. But uh, no, that's that's it, man. What do you think, dude? That was crazy. That's that, that's just opening it up and seeing. All these fishing lures right here. Yep, and there's more to come. All right, everybody. Those are his first 12 stick worms. How'd, Dude, you, like, how'd you like that? That was crazy, and they they yeah. looked way better than I thought they were gonna look for my first ever lures. Like, ah, oh, man, we we well, <laughs> hey, we we had you covered. I, I wasn't gonna let you mix up a bad color, but uh, yeah, I mean that's they that, look perfect. Yeah, like, they don't look yeah, and you know, and, and what's cool is that you can do this however you want. You know, this this is worm plastic which is a nice soft blend but let's say you want something that's firmer you can use a firmer blend of plastic you can use more or less salt you can add whatever scent you want you can add do whatever color you want so that's why custom lure making i think is is the ultimate angler's hobby yeah. is is because it allows you to be creative and make things that i think will uh, up your success as an angler yeah despite no, just... despite me still sucking at fishing you know i should be really good at it now but yeah. uh, not the only thing I excel at is this, but yeah, no, that's yeah, that's cool. That yeah. Leads look like they're bought out of a store. Like all of them look, yeah. they don't look homemade. Like no, if I was no. to go by myself and make homemade lures, they would look homemade. Right, but right. This looks, yeah, and, and, so, and that's, yeah. that's how good our materials are. We have all these high tolerance CNC injection molds and, and all yeah. these tools, all these colors and glitters. So it's awesome stuff. Yeah. All right, everybody, it's time for Norm's second run. So we have our first 12 here. And we're gonna do 12 more. So definitely wanna stay tuned for this. Let's get your glove on. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab your camera here and we're gonna go to work. We stir, correct? Stir, stir. All right, so first we're gonna stir this up to get all the air bubbles out. Am, yep. I, am I right? Yep. And, and you want the salt to be um, to be even throughout the, the plastic. So you wanna, you're stirring your salt back in. All right, <laughs> that, 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 that's good. Why do I feel like we're doing right now like is illegal? I don't know why I feel like that. <laughs> no, no, this 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 is all perfectly this, this fine is all yep. good with the law. So I can set this down here to yep. the side. Set it down, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Grab that injector, plunge, all right. plunge it down, all the way down. Draw up, dude. That takes some serious. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, no need for the gym. No. And then I just no. go straight into the straight straight into the sprue opening right, right. there. Yep. Now push down. We're gonna get real intimate with this. Oh, oh there goes something. Oh. I think it just stopped right there. Right, yep. Yeah. On to the next one. All right. Stop. Yep. When, when it stops, don't don't force it, or else okay. you can force plastic out the side of the mold, and then you got problems. All right. Now re now refill the top. Ooh. Yeah. Just just. Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah. I forgot. You're supposed yeah. to do it from up top like yeah. that. Yeah. Re refill a little bit more. If, if you do whatever you can squeeze out. Yeah. yeah. That good? Uh, get get that third one a little bit more. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. Boom. Yep. You're done. All right. So we have norms second round of molds ever. Normally I would do a drum roll on the molds because I'm a drummer, but these aren't my baits. So we're gonna, we're just gonna open these up and see how you did. Oh Those yeah. Look, look at that. There we go. I love June bug, man. It is just so simplistically awesome. <laughs> and it's, it's such a good fish catcher, you know? It's, it's, it's kind of like green pumpkin in that sense. It just catches fish and it's, and it's easy to make. That's what I always say, dude. If you only had two colors, 
June bug and like a watermelon red or a green pumpkin. Is yeah, what you need on the that's, boat. That, that's it. That's it. Like from now until the end of time. <laughs> you, that's really all you need. That and, and maybe some shad colors. <clears throat> there it is. All right, folks. Just like that, Norm is now a bait maker. He has mastered it with 24 beautiful uh, June bug stick worms. All right, everybody. So we just saw Norm make his very first lures. He's now a seasoned veteran in the bait in the bait community. Look out for him. But uh, yeah. So now we're gonna give him a little bit bigger challenge. Okay. I hope you're ready for it. Oh, I'm ready. Now, ready. now we're gonna get him on. You guessed it. The dual injector. And we're going to be making some jerk baits. So we're going to get Norm trying some laminates. I'm going to be teaching him along the way. Let's start with the color. We're going to be making a, a zoom bait color. This is a color match. You're actually you're actually going to do some okay. color matching. Okay. Right. This is called Midnight Chartreuse. We need black, and you guessed it, chartreuse. Midnight chartreuse, duh. So some chartreuse color, and then check this out, some chartreuse flake. Okay. That's like hologram chartreuse flake. So, Norm, step up to the plate. All right. I need you to squirt some black into one half. All right, so just start it, get it going. I'll tell you when to stop. All right, stop. Perfect. There we go. All right, now on this other one, let's get some of that chartreuse in there. Don't do it like this? Yeah, yeah, it's, right. it, it's a different cap. There you go. And just kind of squirt it in. Yeah, keep, keep going. Let's, let's get some. All right, let's try that. Let's, let's stop there. Now, uh, you mix one, I'll mix one, and we'll see what we get. This stuff is hot too, right? So don't put your finger it's in It's very hot. Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. Don't get near it. Yeah. I don't know why I thought I was mixing in water for a second. No. <laughs> no, it is not water. That dead-on plastic is, uh, it, it cooks It cooks really clear, but it is not water. All right. So, one thing, one thing that I like to do when I'm doing laminates, when you're doing laminates, you want to see how the colors interact with each other because they're going to be in the same mold. So I like to just drizzle some out of one color, drizzle out the other color, see how they mix. You can see that chartreuse turns like a different shade of green. So I think we're, you know what, actually, that's good because we still gotta add some flake. So take some of this uh, hologram flake and let's do two scoops of that. Yeah, unscrew that there. I feel like you could just spend so much. You could, you on, could, like just getting every single type of everything. Yeah, like it, it really is never ending. There you go. <laughs> Get that in there. All right. Well, yeah. Let's do another one. Another scoop. Like that. Yeah, and then you know what? Let's let's see what that looks like first. Yeah. We might need some more, so, so don't don't close it just yet. All right. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We need more, more, more. Yeah, more. Like that? Two, two, two more, two more scoops. Oh jeez. Yeah, okay. yeah. We're going big. We're going all in. Going all in. Oh, flew a little bit. Oh, that that's fine. <laughs> I got the fans blowing, which which you gotta have. You gotta have ventilation, man. Blowing the fumes out of here. All right, that's our cover. All right, he is gloving up, and uh, we we just kind of did a little crash course on what he has to do, and uh, I think he's gonna be just fine. So again, guys, for other bait makers out there, you need to know how your molds are set up. The top color needs to go on the left side of the block to hit the top side of this jerk bait. The bottom color, obviously, on the opposite side. All right, buddy, you're up. <clears throat> Grab that injector. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like nervous. I'm terrified. All right. All, yep. All the way down. Yep, stick them down. Draw up. Okay. Yep, you'll, you'll feel... It, it, it. Oh. Okay. Yep. That, that 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 that's fine. That's fine. Are we good? Yep. Yep. You just got a little air. That's fine. Put them. Yep. Seat them in there. Almost. There. There you go. There go. Okay. Now push down. And you'll feel it stop just like the other molds. Okay. Now pick up the whole thing. Block first. Set it in the other one. Oh, uh, you'll oh, feel it go. There we go. All right. Push down. You got it, man. All right, now on to the next one. You're natural. See, 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 <laughs> see, see, see laminates are easy. <laughs> all right, there we Perfect. Go. No all right, put this. All right okay. now, now you just take the injector off. Just, okay. just leave the block right there, and that's fine. All right. Yep. All right. Now you can just push them back, push it back into the. Uh, yeah. There you go. 
Now, if you noticed whenever you were drawing the plastic up, how, how it kind of spat, yeah. that, that means you drew, drew up some air into it. So these might have a little bit of air problems, but I think, I think they're gonna be just fine overall. And uh, that was much better than my first time doing laminates by, my, by myself in 2012. Okay, there's the mold. Step on up. Let's see how your let's see how your first ever laminates did. This is a really cool color, and to me, it works really well in a jerk bait. Do I have to put my finger in this thing and open? Uh, it? No, it. I will anyway. Let's just <laughs> let's just get it started. All right, All yeah, right. I got it started. Go. I got it started for you. Here we go. Oh, oh, they went to the top. <laughs> okay, no, no, that's fine. Yep, just 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 pull the whole string off there. All right. Yep. Stick them a little bit. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Dude, look, that is so cool. Look at that. So that's how you get the laminate effect. The, those two, that top and bottom color. That is so cool. So yeah, we will definitely get you doing some more of that uh, on your channel as well. And, and what might be cool is to like, maybe let like your subscribers maybe like pick a good color for a future yeah. video. You know, just do like a little, just have like a little color contest. What, what do they want to see? And, uh, and we can do it, man. So look at that. Laminates, laminates made simple. Okay, so yeah, no, that's that. That's yes. I mean, honestly, like learning the dual injector was was pretty tough for me. It's it's all about it's all about just getting getting an even pressure and and the yeah. color creation. So um, you know that right there was was a quick good one. And uh, let's get out the other ones and then we'll lay them out. Just kind of take a look. And uh, yeah, guys, it's this is so much fun teaching somebody how to do it, seeing seeing them do it for the first time. And uh, yeah, glad you guys stuck around for this one. Okay, so these are the Fishing with Norm collection. So we have these uh, June bug sticks and then these Midnight Chartreuse jerk baits. And like I said, you know, he's a very first time bait maker. And uh, yeah, man, hope you have yeah. hope you have enjoyed yourself today. I have, so I've had a good time. And next time we're gonna have to like try to even step it up to maybe some of these crazier ones that you've done over there yeah guys i think he's really wanting a crack at the triple injector soon so we'll definitely get him on here doing it i'm sure his audience wants to see it too and then eventually we're going to get him doing you know what hand pouring we're going to see how his chops are at hand pouring it's going to be a struggle but <laughs> we're we're, we're going to teach him right here so anyway good job man i mean those are those those are great and um you know, I think for a future video, also we'll let you like pick your own color. Okay. So, so like instead of doing June bug, that's like already a thing. We're just gonna like turn you loose over there on the colors and just whatever, just whatever, crazy. whatever you want to come yeah. up with. <laughs> we're we're just gonna see if it looks good or not, and uh, that'll be a fun one as well. Well, all right, everybody. I hope y'all have enjoyed today's video. Uh, something new. You know that that's like I said, that's the first person I've ever like hosted. Um, live in the fish cave and, and taught them how to make baits. Uh, well, that's a lie. I've done that with plenty of my friends and stuff, but that's the first time I've ever really done like a collaboration video for that purpose, especially with, you know, somebody of Norm's stature in the YouTube community. Um, so it, it was great. It was great to meet you, buddy. Um, we'll definitely do some more stuff. Thanks for coming out and uh, hanging out with me in my garage. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the bait making. I hope you enjoy those baits. Um, head over to Norm's channel to see his version of this video, his perspective, and what he's going to do is also do a little fish catch with these baits as well that you saw in today's video. So definitely head over to his channel, watch watch the video from his perspective. We got a lot of cool angles with his camera. You know, his camera was sort of more the focus than my camera today. So um, I think probably some of the better footage was uh, shot with his, but uh, that's what we wanted to do. And um, so definitely go check it out. I think you'll like seeing it from his perspective a lot and you'll get to see some of the baits in action as well. So um, anyways, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. Um, you know, if you wanna see more collaborations, definitely let me know. Larry Melton Jr., another rising star. Uh, he's just an awesome guy. He already makes a few baits himself. He's gonna be coming down we're going to be getting into some just seriously crazy bait making. Uh, you know, we're going to put our heads together and I think we're going to bang out some awesome content. So um, with that said, we're going to sign this video off. Norm, again, thanks so much for the opportunity. I enjoyed it. We're definitely going to do some more things. We're already cooking up some more ideas and um, I can't wait to see what the future holds there. So thanks so much, guys, for watching the World's Worst Fishing today 
and we'll see you next time.